Then we come to building the remote sensing GIS-based model, uh, biomass model. Are you still uh, awake? Are you following me? We are following you, Bassam. Go ahead and don't, don't, don't slow down. Keep <laughs> okay. the good work. Okay, yes, thank, you. thank you. Thank you, thank uh, you. For building remote sensing based uh, biomass model, there's um, five steps here. Uh, the first one, to identify the remote sensing uh, variable. Uh, we use uh, seven single bands uh, of Landsat and also uh, 13 vegetation indices uh, after uh, comprehensive literature review. Um, uh, and, and also the second step is selecting the date uh, bound plots uh, on, on three age stages, the, the mature, medium, and young. The third step is to, uh, uh, to calculate the, the biomass uh, on the field using the allometric equation that we use it, uh, we, 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 we built it, uh, and, and then we have now, now, now we have the biomass and we have the sensing value. And then we run a regression analysis uh, in order to build and, and validate uh, the remote sensing uh, biomass. Here we, we used many um, statistical analysis. Uh, we use linear, linear regression and nonlinear regression and stepwise regression and, and around five uh, statistical metrics uh, used here to validate and to, to select our model. And after we are happy with our model, we up apply or apply to the, uh, we, we convert it to spatial, or first to spatial, to be a spatial model. And, and uh, of course, uh, the result will be about, uh, will be above ground biomass. So we have to multiply it by the, this factor, 0.5387, uh, to uh, calculate the carbon stack, a ton per hectare. And of course, we apply it for the whole study area. Yeah, this is the remote sensing uh, variable used as uh, single bands and vegetation indices. We have 13 and their equations. Yeah, when we build the remote, sen uh, remote sensing based biomass model, we, we, we did it in two phases really. The pilot, uh, pilot study, the first phase, pilot study with 19 field uh, plots, and then we enlarge, uh, um, enlarge it to uh, 54. This is the design, a plot design. It's uh, the plot is uh, 40 by 40, and we when when we extract the remote sensing val uh, variables, we consider uh, a window uh, of three by three, and we are taking the main uh, the the mean of of, of the uh, remote sensing value. This is the statistical analysis. As I said, we use the regression analysis, stepwise regression, okay, and etc. And for validation, we, we split uh, um, our, 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 our plots to two, uh, um, two groups uh, for calibration and for validation. And we used uh, um, uh, rem, uh, root mean square error and uh, relative uh, root uh, mean square error and the bias to evaluate and to validate uh, our. Uh, our, our model. Yeah, this is okay. This is important note. When we up, this is what we learn from uh, the phase one, or the when we apply the or we build the remote sensing in the, in, in uh, our uh, the pilot study with only 19 uh, field blocks, and we found that it's very small. The size very small, and 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 especially in in, in medium and in young uh, uh, date bound. Uh, the, the land, the variable, most sensing variable shows uh, uh, little uh, significant, uh, significance in statistical way. Uh, so we consider all all the uh, the field uh, uh, plots as one classes we call mixed age class. Yeah, this figure uh, shows uh, how remote sensing variables. Um, uh correlate with with the r square uh, how it works and it's easy to to to, to see that vegetation it is uh, indices work, work better than the uh, single bands so for for single bands the correlation we run for first the linear, uh, linear regression uh, 
uh, using other other uh, equation like uh, power or uh, polynomial and we found that that short wave infrared too uh, as a single band is the best predictor for uh, uh, above ground by mass or date path. For the vegetation indices, uh, we found that a simple ratio uh, worked better. Uh, and, and we are, we want, we want more uh, uh, improving in, in R squared. So we run a stepwise uh, regression, backward, backward elimination. Uh, and we found that combination of green, uh, near infrared, and short wave infrared gives the uh, uh, the best uh, R, 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 R square and a combination of the three uh, um, vegetation indices DVI, NDGI and RVI giving the best for, for, for this is for the mixed age uh, class for, for non-mature which include only medium and young we found that uh, uh, the exponential uh, uh, equation of using using uh, uh, the vegetation in this uh, RDVI giving us the, the best result and for mature uh, we found that tesselled the, the polynomial uh, second uh, uh, order uh, equation uh, using the tesselled uh, cap of witness giving us the best result and these two equation that used uh, or, 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 or convert to, to be a spatial model and used to, uh, to map our uh, uh, biomass and then the, the, the carbon. Of course, we validate this model using the metrics that I just uh, told you. And here, just a summary of the, the models that used for mature and non-mature. Here, just an example of how we convert the uh, uh, mathematical model here to be a spatial model and in air dust imagine. So here we have vegetation indices, and first we have to extract the, the bands, uh, near of red band and red and green, and we use these bands to create the uh, vegetation indices here, and then we multiply them by these factors, and, and then we will get the above ground biomass uh, and per hectare. And, but we are looking for the above ground biomass of the carbon. So we multiply uh, uh, the, the raster then with the, uh, the factor which 0.53, and then we come up with above ground carbon uh, ton per hectare. And here how it looks as a map. Uh, the highlighted uh, uh, pixel is representing the above ground uh, carbon and um, uh, the more lighter is more biomass and the dark of course that the area that without any uh, date palm plantation and then we quantify uh, uh, the carbon stack uh, by date palm considering all the carbon pools uh, first, the above ground carbon, which is uh, calculated or estimated by the remote sensing uh, model that we built. And then we calculate the below ground uh, carbon as a ratio. And also letters and uh, debris also as a percentage from, from the above, uh, above ground uh, uh, carbon. And then we add the soil uh, organic uh, carbon. Um, uh, sequestered by the date bomb, and then we come to the total. The overall carbon uh, stack by date bomb plantation was uh, two billion and a half tons. And this is the end of the story. <laughs> okay, what we achieved? One, we developed a new allometric equation of date bomb. Two, we calculate the carbon percentage in, in, in the biomass of date bomb, and also we calculate the soil organic carbon added to the uh, area that dominated by date bomb. Three, we map the date bomb plantation in Abu Dhabi at three different uh, age stages with uh, excellent accuracy, and we calculate the area and the number of date bombs. Four, we develop a hierarchical uh, integrate approach that we use Landsat and Worldview uh, 
uh, together uh, in order to extract information about age, counting, uh, the bomb, and the biomass, and assess the carbon stock. Five, we build a remote sensing uh, GIS-based model um, to calculate the carbon stack in, in, in different age uh, stages. Seven, we quantify and visualize the amount of biomass and the carbon stack in Abu Dhabi using the, the, the built remote sensing uh, spatial model. And this model can be easily applied to, to cover uh, other area, uh, uh, arid land ecosystem, for example, G uh, GCC countries or the Arabian Peninsula, because it has a similar uh, uh, environment. So this research approach has never been developed elsewhere for date palm in arid land. Uh, this work uh, is the first in its kind for such a species in such an arid environment of UAE. Okay, conclusion on how to estimate the terrestrial the sequestered carbon uh, in, in a large area. And we are using the geospatial technology. And we learned that the innovative geospatial technology were able to estimate the carbon stack in date bomb with minimum cost and reasonable time frame and acceptable accuracy. And also, it's um, easy to, to use this, uh, uh, this method uh, proposed uh, to be integrated in the long term strategy and national level uh, to monitor. Uh, to monitor the carbon stack in the country and also uh, can be used as a guide uh, for the policy related to a uh, carbon footprint at uh, country and region levels. So what's the next? We can we can uh, cover the whole UAE country because we are our study area was the Abu Dhabi only and we can cover other uh, uh, plant species and we can generalize these uh, uh, models to, uh, to calculate the carbon stack in the region. And we can run uh, temporal uh, or monitoring uh, uh, to, to detect the change uh, in date in, in, in carbon stack. Um, and also it can be uh, incorporated with uh, uh, decision taking, making a process for best and sustainable management. At the end, I would like to thank uh, United Arab Emirates University, the research office for funding this project. And also I would like to thank all members of College of Science, especially biology department, geoscience uh, department. I would like to thank uh, Professor Hassan Arman for uh, the head of geoscience uh, department for offering me a very suitable and equipped office during my journey uh, for PhD. And I would like to thank my friends, my family, my brother, uh, Yasser, and my sister, Bushrash, who, who helped me to, uh, uh, to design this uh, PowerPoint presentation. And I would like to thank Dr. Mahmoud Musa from uh, UAE uh, University Ecology Lab for helping me and guiding me in analysis, uh, ecological analysis of, uh, of uh, materials, biomass, and carbon. And also, I would like to thank Alfoa Farm Company Management for allowing me to use their facilities, the, their, their big scale balance, uh, balance to weigh the palm and also to enter to the palm. Uh, so, thank for them also. I would like to thank the workers, the farmers uh, during my field visit alongside Abu Dhabi, which I has a very unforgettable memories with them. <laughs> 